<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here, as always, with Warren Falco from Destination El Paso. We are in West El Paso at Common and Grounds Coffee. It's a really cool, little bit hidden spot. Yeah. And tell us all about. It. So this is this is my area. This is my space. This is my neighborhood, and I've never been here, so I'm so excited to be here. Um, we're at Common Grounds Coffee, which is this kind of really cool, small, little, unique place. Um, it's in the middle of the shopping center, which so like very unassuming. Um, but what's really unique about this place is that they do all their coffee is or with organic syrups. They make all their syrups. They make all their aesthetic foam is all like flavored by actual food, beet powder, spirulina, not anything, you know, dyed or flavored. So we're really excited to be here, try some of their coffee. Um, they've been open since October. So brand new, brand new on the market. Let's get straight to business, talk about our events right now. There's something really cool happening that involves a, a tour of... Yes, I'm very excited. So this week is National Travel and Tourism Week, which in my industry is huge. Um, and I think more people just need to know about it. it. It celebrates tourism, it celebrates travel, and the economic impact that it has on the city. May 21st, we're gonna have a downtown mural tour that's led by El Cini, who is a local muralist, incredible. Um, it is on a bus, so you're driven everywhere, you don't have to walk everywhere, um, but it's a really cool aspect. You just have to pre-register, but it is free to attend. There's another event that is actually adjacent to this one, and it involves music. Yes, we're really excited to bring free Aguas Frescas and music before the Chihuahuas game on May 22nd. Um, at 10 a.m., if you join us at the Santa Fe gate, we're going to have free music, free Aguas Frescas, as I mentioned, um, as well as information about National Travel and Tourism Week. So if you're already going to the game, stop by, say hi. Something really cool happening at the El Paso Museum of History. It's called the Merienda Talk. Can you tell us what, what is it? So these are talks that are happening inside the Museum of History that specifically focus on topics of history. So one of the cool things is they change it all the time, but this one is about classism and fashion. So they do some really cool talks throughout the year, and it starts at 2 p.m. at the Museum of History. When we were talking about this event, then we seem to miss every single member of the year, but it looks absolutely magnificent and it's the Water Lantern Festival at Escada Park. Like you said, we miss it every year. I'm heck, heck bent on going. I want to go so bad because it's one of those places that like, I feel like it's just gonna be magical, like seeing all the lanterns floating on Escada de Lake. They do have tickets available, so go follow them on social media, um, find the event Water Lantern Festival on Facebook, but they'll have some really great uh, nighttime activities for the full family. We have an announcement a little more the end of this year. Yes. The next year's Broadway shows. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what we have in store. It, it's going to be a really incredible lineup. Obviously, last year was a, a phenomenal season, um, and this year has proven no different. Um, we are very excited to announce a 24-25 season. And as of today, you can go and start buying season packages if you're not already a subscriber. We have some incredible shows that I'm so excited about. Beetlejuice being the first one. Um, that'll happen late November, early December. We also have Tina, the Tina Turner musical, which like iconic singer. So that's, awesome. that's gonna be a really cool story. Um, and then in the spring, we'll have Pretty Woman. Again, that's classic so story. We love it. Um, we have Hades Town and we have Chicago, which like Chicago is probably one of my favorite musicals of all time. Everything you need to know is at broadwayinalpaso.com. That's our new website. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This is everything I need. That's so God. good. Perfect, perfect time to wrap things up. Also, the perfect size for a coffee. The perfect size I for a coffee. It's not too big, it's not This is great. Love it. All right, if you want any more information on any events, dates, times, tickets, you can always go to visit elpaso.com once again. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna enjoy our coffee, and we'll see you again on next episode of Que Pasa.